Hello and welcome to another quick tech tip with the Bearded Tech Guy. In this video, we will be going over how to set up your Google Home Voice Assistant to be able to control any newer model robot vacuum cleaner by iRobot. This includes the Roomba E5, E6, 690, 890, and 980 series robots, as well as the Roomba i3, i7, and S9 robot vacuum cleaners. This feature can also be used with the Brava Jet M6. I'll include a link in the description below that will include all models that are supported by this integration in case iRobot adds new models in the future. Having the integration set up will allow for you to use your Google Home to do a wide range of things such as start or stop vacuuming, send your Roomba to its dock, locate your Roomba with an audible sound, make changes to your cleaning schedule, and a variety of other tasks along with actions you can take if you have a Brava Jet M6. You can even have your Roomba i7 or S9 vacuum specific cleaning zones, clean around objects you have set up in your imprint map, or even use any of your favorites you have set up in the iRobot app. There are several other voice commands possible, and some commands will not work depending on the model Roomba you have. So I will also include a link in the description below which will have an up-to-date list of the voice commands you can use to control your Roomba with Google Home. Take note that for this integration to work, you must first set up your Roomba within the iRobot Smart App. This is required for the integration between Google and iRobot to work. To set up the integration, open the Google Home app first. From here, click on the plus sign at the top left-hand corner. Next, click on Setup Device, and on the new screen that opens, click on Works with Google. Next, click on the magnifying glass on the top right-hand side of the screen, and then search for iRobot. Click on iRobot Smart Home, which will open up a login page for your iRobot account. Once your information is entered, click on Login. On the new screen that opens, click on OK to finish connecting your iRobot account to your Google account. Next, you will be presented with any supported Roomba Robot Vacuums or Bravo Robot Mops that are linked to your iRobot account that support voice commands. Here you can assign them to different Google Home rooms. Take note this is only local to Google Home and has no impact on any settings within the iRobot app. Once you assign your rooms, click on Done. If you happen to make a mistake with your room assignment or move your robot, you can always change the room assignment in the Google Home app at a later time. Once account linking is finished, you should see a success message on your screen and iRobot Smart Home should be listed under Link Services, along with the number of robots linked. Take note that you can also link iRobot and Google together by starting in the iRobot app first. However, doing so actually just brings you to the point where you search in the Google Home app for the iRobot service to link. Because of this, it's easier just to go through the Google Home app. With iRobot linked with our Google Smart Assistant, let's test out a few commands. Vacuum the kitchen. Okay, starting DJ Roomba 2 in kitchen. One thing I did discover is that having my two Roombas named similar made voice commands pretty much impossible and actually caused some issues with getting voice commands to work. This forced me to finally come up with a new name for DJ Roomba 2, and after changing its name my issues went away. So if you have multiple robots in your home, make sure they have their own unique names to prevent any issues. Also, iRobot recommends not using Roomba or Brava as your robot's names as it may cause issues with voice commands. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up as it helps out the channel immensely. I would also love to know which Roomba you have and how your experience with it has been so far, so let me know in the comments below. Or if you run into any problems setting this integration up, don't hesitate to reach out as well. And if you'd like additional tech and smart home content like this video, consider subscribing to the channel and enabling notifications to be one of the first to know when I release a new video. Thank you for watching.